Hi guys, welcome back to Tactic, it's Gabriel, and today we're going to be talking about KWA. And in particular, we're going to be talking about the Ronin series. It's a series that just came out like a, barely a couple of weeks ago, and uh, it's a new direction for KWA. This is going to be replacing the KR series for their AEGs, and these are models which will have certain features which are going to translate across multiple uh, lines. So, for example, It'll be available on the VM4, it'll be available on the RM4, and it'll eventually be able on other platforms as well. Uh, what we're talking about is essentially uh, key mod and M-lock rails, uh, ambidextrous controls, including, for example, for now it's going to be the selector switch, later on it might be bolt catches and stuff like that. And uh, basically what they did is they started off with the VM4 series to mod, so what we have is the Ronin 6, which is a 6-inch platform, which I have right here, it's the PDW. They have a CQB model, which is the Ronin 10. And then in the next month or so, they'll have, well actually shorter than that, in three weeks, they'll actually have the Ronin uh, 15, which is going to be their M-Lock model, which is going to be exclusively an RM4, so a recoil model. So we're starting off with the PDW, for example, to give you an idea of what these models are. And uh, essentially what they do come with is a mock suppressor. Uh, it is removable, uh, it is glued, but a bit of heat and that will come off, if that's your intention. Otherwise it's a pretty cool setup anyway. Um, it comes with a very lightweight rail, which this makes the difference between the previous models and the current models, is that uh, these guns are a lot lighter than what they used to be. Flip-up sights from PTS, that's a bonus. Uh, usually these uh, products on their own are relatively expensive and having them pre-installed on some of these guns is pretty cool. Uh, it goes the same for the grips. These grips are now the EPGs. On the Ronin 6, it's the EPG-C, so the CQB model. On the other uh, sorry, Ronins, it'll actually be the EPG standard uh, with the dovetail, well, not the dovetail, with the extended curl. In any case, uh, on the other models of the Ronins, you'll have the EPS stocks as well. The Ronin naturally, the Ronin 6 naturally, comes with this PDW kit, which is actually one of the coolest PDW kits I've seen this year. Between the various other competitors, this one actually is uh, very interesting because we're able to fit an 11.1 .1 in this one. So a battery about this long, no special shape to it, it's just a standard rectangular stick type 11.1 uh, 1450 that's actually in here right now uh, you can if you're if you feel more comfortable run with an 11 100 and that works too um, so this is a vm4 by default which means that it has certain features particularly the use of the kwa 3120 or 3060 magazines allowing you for basically a uh, bolt stop function once the magazine is empty. So let's try out this little guy. Uh, stop comes out all the way. There is two positions. There's a position I skipped there. Uh, flip up. We have our battery installed. I'm putting on my protective glasses. There are ambidextrous controls. Oh, and an enlarged uh, uh, trigger guard for gloves. In. Actually, the reaction time of the trigger is really, really fast. It's it's really nice. And we'll pull auto. So I got no reaction from the trigger. That's the bolt function, bolt stop function. Take out my mag. Put in my next mag. I'm going to tap that bolt catch, and move on, back into semi on the left side, or actually the right side, back into full, we're out again, and back to safe. So this was an overview of the whole Ronin family and the PDW in particular, hope you have a great day, this was Gabriel.